Hi guys, um, today I want to show you a, a little piece of technique that not only uses a brush for painting, but also this little tool. Let me show you what I'm going to do with it. Today I'm showing you a technique that you can use with metal watercolors. So what are metal watercolors? Uh, for instance, watercolors that use an aluminium pigment um, as the shiny particles um, that have been colored uh, either with a coating or have been mixed with a different pigment. So what I'm showing you here is I'm putting on a thick layer of gold aluminium paint, um, the gold that I showed a while ago. And I want to show you something that you can do with it. So here it's drying and um, while it's drying, it's getting that shiny look that everyone likes. Um, it's comparable to some micas. It has a different look. It, it looks more metallic, but when you're burnishing it, you're actually kind of polishing the pigments into or onto the paper. So I have an agate uh, burnishing stone here and uh, what I'm doing is I'm rubbing it over uh, one half of the swatch to show you the difference. And I'm polishing the pigments. They're all uh, um, going to be flat and they're all going to be polished. You lose the texture of the paper as well during the process. So you're pushing in the paper, you're pushing in the pigments. And uh, what you're left with is actually something that looks really, really uh, similar to an actual polished metal. Um, so you can do that with, with any pigment that contains a metallic particle. So as you can see, it really looks more like a plate of gold, brass, uh, than it looks like a shiny watercolor swatch. So this is great for details that really need to pop out, but be careful. The shiny polished look only works uh, from certain angles. So they're not diffused shiny like uh, the mica look that you have at the beginning, but it really works um, in certain angles, but it looks more like metal than anything else when you're finishing it like this. Hope you like this demo. Uh, if you want to know anything more, just put in a comment and uh, let me know. I really hope you liked this video. Uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot building towards any future plan I have with YouTube. So uh, thanks a lot and see you next video.